Hello friend, this is Surya Padhi. Today's topic is SAP Group Reporting. This is the standard disclaimer. This is about me. And this is the few review of Data Monitor, what I have configured for my upcoming book on SAP S4 HANA 1909 Group Reporting. For my book, I have configured three different group, two subgroups and one main group main group consists of all consultation unit subgroup that is a triple zero one america's group it consists of consultation units of america similarly e triple zero one consists of consultation units of europe and all these five consultation unit some of them are integrated units that means they have sap company code and some of them are non-integrated consultation unit that means they are outside of sap and this is the gui view of data monitor on my next slide i will explain you all functionalities of data monitor and what I have covered also in my book. I mean, group reporting data monitor. The transaction code for group reporting data monitor is CXCD. And uh, you can see here, the data monitor consists of consultation group and consultation unit. And consultation units are grouped together and it is in order of the consultation group and you can see here the first consultation group is a triple zero one it consists of three consultation unit out of that uh, three consultation unit uh, two unit are integrated and uh, one unit is non-integrated similarly you can see uh, the consultation group e triple zero one and in case of e triple zero one is the same thing i uh, it has one integrated SAP unit and another non-integrated SAP unit. Consultation group that is has triple zero one. It has five company code. Out of that, five two are non-integrated. What you can see, the CAD zero is a non-integrated company code, uh, and uh, SW one one O is a non-integrated company code. So uh, if you see here, all the consultation group and consultation units are colored as green because this consultation unit and consultation, um, consultation groups are not yet open for posting. And once it, you can open this group by right click and open period. And once it is open, it became the normal color and uh, by uh, by right clicking and if you want to see the detail overview and you can see the detail of the task for a particular consultation unit that is usa1 and what are the tasks are there and who the what is irrelevant this icon says that it is irrelevant because this is a uh, USD company code and uh, the currency is USD and uh, the consultation group is in USD and we are also our consultation ledger is in USD so there is no need of uh, the currency translation and apart from uh, apart from things other things you can see the task 101010 one, 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 is uh, relating to balance carry forward and if uh, 1015 is released from the universal journal 1020 is the data collection and 1050 is the data validation uh, the validation of universal journal and task number 1030 is calculation of net income and uh, task number 1080 is reported data validation and task number 1095 is manual posting and task number 11 is the currency translation and task number 
1180 is the standardized data validation and you can go back now you can see so different task are level with the different icons so this is the x mark it is in case of x mark it is relevant in case of red hyphen it is irrelevant okay so you can see all the naming convention of these icons here now if you see here this is the overall status overall status it will appear here now the overall status is x that means overall status is initial stage once we progress the status will update either it can be green or yellow or it can be red and this is the task status this group says um, talks about each and every task and its status with the icon if you see here this check mark is the status for the initial stage of the task and the icon with the red hyphen status stacks is irrelevant and the other status based on the execution status uh, execution status of the task and uh, the system the application will update the task with the color coding with the icons and in this so this particularly this particular data monitor screen is based on the dimension okay so dimension here is uh, the consultation chart up account and the consultation the consultation version and the posting period and this 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 particular data monitor is relevant for the posting period one uh, of 2019 and if you want to proceed further then you have to change the data the global parameter by the clicking the global parameter option and you can if you want to navigate to the period two you can enter period two and based on the master data and based on the configuration and the relevant task and relevant com consultation unit and relevant consultation group will appear here if you right click on any of the my consultation unit if you want to see the master data of this consultation unit so click on here now we are in the master data of the consultation unit and this is this master data is uh, it um, it is the currency it is residing in the country us and local currency is usd and based on if you go here the data collection the data collection says that read from the universal journal and read from where it will read from the company the us a us one this company is tied to a company code and based on the relationship between the company code and company and it will pull the data to the consultation unit and in the consultation unit apart from others you can see you can see the assignment of the fiscal year variant and the fiscal year variant is assigned based on the ledger and the fiscal year so the what is happening when you post the transaction in in the erp and you will uh, the system will capture the uh, posting date and based on the posting date the assignment of the physical year variant uh, to the consultant consultation unit determine what could be the period and uh, where it will appear for the for a consultation unit so if you want to release journal from the universal journal this is an integrated unit so that you can test it by right click and uh, the click on the test it will go to the release reported data finance the release reported financial data and click on the reported financial data and now you can see what data it is going to release this is my consultation unit this is my consultation 
chartered account and this is the finance uh, fs item financial statement item and this is the sub item it is coming from this transit these transactions are coming from the company called um us a a1 and with the document type if you release it it will post with the document type 0f and this is this transaction is in the transaction currency it is in usd and this is the transaction amount and the value is that is in local currency the group currency in this case is usd if you navigate to the right you can see the integration point so the, this is the this is coming we are in the erp we are using operational chart up account yCOA and this is posted in the gl account um starting with 100 this is my the case in hand and this is my equity and you can see that these transactions are posted with the profit center yv900 and this is posted with uh, in the controlling area a 000 and the segment uh, 1000 underscore c for the right you can see the partner profit center and uh, the partner segment and the transactional type and the billing type etc come if you want to come back you can come back here so this option reported financial data difference this is the delta and this is the first time and uh, this is the total transfer and this is only the difference so if you transfer report a total and it will delete uh, the earlier transaction it will uh, transfer uh, the entire transaction from erp by clicking here you can go to the consultation monitor and you can see the consultation monitor we have number of tasks and consultation monitor we don't see the consultation unit because the consultation consultation will happen based on the consultation group and uh, like the data monitor we have number of tasks with the uh, with the check mark that means this task are relevant for this consultation group by clicking once again the data monitor you can come to the data monitor so detail info if you see here so the click on any of the consultation unit you can detail info display period info so this is uh, CAD0 period is closed that means that is the reason it is coming as a green from here also you can go to the consultation monitor the detail overview of the task if you see here detail overview of task and uh, the task those are relevant for the company for the consultation unit will appear you can change the layout if you want by clicking here you can refresh the, the data monitor you can see by refreshing that you can see the updated uh, data monitor In the Fury, you can see the data monitor with the help of this Fury tile. And uh, you can see this Fury tile in the consultation data preparation. Click on the tile data monitor. Like GUI, you can see the data monitor and with the same structure because I'm using the same. Uh, global parameter and you can see here uh, the same group you can expand or you can collapse these groups 
and like GUI, if you want to see the icons, symbol and key, you can click here. Now you can see the symbol and keys. And this is this has the same functionality of GUI, but this is in the theory. If you want to open a particular console destination unit or console destination group, you can open this. So if you I'm selected, I'm selected here the console destination group by clicking her here open period, I can able to open the posting period for all these three company uh, the console destination units. This particular task is not relevant for this consultation unit and all the tasks are relevant. And here you can see there is a diamond and then this is called the milestone. If you want to go to the consultation monitor, uh, you can go with this option. If you want to enter any journal entries, you can select this option. And if you want to see the database listing of total record, you can select this option. You can change the global parameter from here or you can change the global parameter from here. So by the clicking here, you can see the master data of the consultation unit. This is the master data of the consultation unit. It is CAD0. This is a non-integrated consultation unit. Now you can see we have defined here the flexible upload method. In case of the integrated unit, if you go to the master data, you can see option data collection and this data collection from the universal journal or universal document and this data will come from the company usa1 I hope this video will be helpful for you to understand the consultation, the data monitor and the consultation monitor of group reporting 1909. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon for updated notification. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.